Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Morales. Today we're going to look at adding and editing text. We will also look at how to style text, use the format painter, insert images, and apply a style to an image. For this project, I like to have the show hide button activated so I can see the spaces and paragraph marks. If we take a look at our document, we have several paragraphs. Some paragraphs have some underlying sections. Uh, the first step in our project is to highlight or select each of the underlying sections and type in the appropriate response. For example, when I read the first sentence, it starts by saying, hello, my name is blank. You will select or highlight that underlying section and type your name. I want you to edit the formatting of the text. Text formatting includes changing the font, color, and size. There are several ways to change the formatting. Select the response that you just typed, which is your name. There are three ways to change the text formatting. The first way is by clicking on the commands that are located in the ribbon under the Home tab and under the Font group. The second way is to click on the launcher, which is located at the bottom right of the group. This gives you the same commands that are found in the ribbon, with additional commands and advanced settings. The third way is to use the mini toolbar. So when you select text, a toolbar appears giving you another option to access command. Using any of the three methods, I want you to change the font, font size, and color. Don't copy my formatting. I want your formatting to be different than mine. After changing the formatting of your text, I want you to select the next two underlined sections and type in your responses. Also, underline your responses. Microsoft Word has a very handy way of copying the formatting of your text. If I want to use the same settings for font, font size, and color, I can use a tool called the Format Painter. The Format Painter copies the format of selected text. Select your name go and go to the ribbon. Make sure the Home tab is activated and under the Clipboard group, click on the Format Painter command. Notice that the cursor looks like a paintbrush. Now select the underlined area. The formatting was copied to the text you selected. Apply the same technique to the last underlined area.
I'm going to undo just to show you another technique using the format painter button. Right above the ribbon there's a back arrow which allows you to undo the last action you took. I'm going to select my name but now I'm going to double click on the format painter. Now I select the first underlying text and notice that the format painter is still activated because I double clicked on it. I select the second underlying text Now all three sections have the same formatting. The format painter is still activated. The cursor has a paintbrush on it. Click on the format painter button on the ribbon to deactivate it. The next text says my picture. Click right below that text the cursor should be before the paragraph mark. I want you to insert a picture of yourself. Go to the ribbon, click on the insert tab, under the illustrations group, click on the pictures command. The insert picture dialog box will come up and this is where you locate the picture that you're going to insert. Navigate to where your picture is at, then click on your picture and click on the insert button. Another way to insert a picture is to go online and right click on a picture, click on copy image from the menu, then go back to your document and paste it. You can always modify the size by clicking and dragging the edge of the picture. Notice that when I select my picture, a new tab on the ribbon appears called Picture Tools Format. I want to make sure I activate the format tab and now I have access to modify different picture settings. Take some time to explore some of these settings. I want to add a picture style to my picture. Under the picture styles group I have many choices. Choose a picture, picture style for your picture. The next paragraph has three sentences. Select the third sentence which begins with the words one of my favorite. Be sure to select the entire sentence including the period at the end.
I want to show you three ways to copy or cut text. Copying refers to creating a duplicate and cutting refers to moving the text without a duplicate. The first way is to use the commands in the ribbon by going to the home tab, clipboard group and clicking on the copy or cut command. The paste command is also there. The second way is to right click on the selected text and from the menu that pops up I can choose cut or copy. From the same menu I can choose paste but I have to choose an option either keep source formatting, merge formatting or keep text only. The third way is to use the keyboard shortcuts. When my text is selected if you're using a PC press and hold on to the control button which is located at the bottom left of the keyboard and press the X key at the same time. For copy you press on control and C. For paste you press on control and V. If you're using a Mac computer it's the same commands but the only difference is that you'll be pressing on the command button instead of the control button. Use any of the given techniques to cut the third sentence and paste it, paste it in the beginning of the paragraph. Next, I want to copy text from a website. Go to a website, select some text right click to get the menu and click copy. Now go back to your document and click below the text that says online text about my hobby Go to the ribbon and click on the paste button. Notice that a small square popped up. This small square is called the paste options button. As soon as you paste something on a document you have choices as to how you want your text to look. The first choice will be Keep the formatting from where you copied it from. The second choice will merge the formatting with the formatting from your document and the third choice will keep the text only. Choose merge formatting. In order to finish the project, you must fill in the underlined sections. Change the font size and color of, the, of each of the underlined sections. Insert a picture of your favorite food and add a picture style to it. Write a small paragraph about yourself. Add another picture and apply a style to it. Remember to save periodically. You can save by clicking on the small square icon at the top left of Word. Here is an example of a finished project.
Good luck with the project, and I'll see you in the next video.